again. This week I'm going to be looking at the Universal Carrier or Bren Carrier. Um, now I have built one of these before um, but it was a, a really stripped down version because I was going to be using it with my British Air Force. Um, I don't have to do that this time. I can actually load it up with all its equipment um, because it will be going with my 30 core. So this time I'll be, you know, building it up with all the extra kit bags and stuff on it. Now what I'll do, um, I'll, I'll follow the same format as I've been using on all the other previous builds and I'll photograph it at each stage. It's a relatively simple model so this shouldn't really be a long video. And what I have already done is I've opened this up and taken the figures out and uh, I've actually pre-painted them ready because um, as you may recall all of my previous builds over the last few weeks I've built up to the stage where they need painting and what I'm hoping to do is actually paint them all in one video and get them all ready um, so this um, is the last vehicle that I'll be building for 30 core so after this um, with the exception of painting up the others I should be moving in a different direction but I've, I've finally caught up with the uh, all the models that I need for it I've already painted up my 30 core as you know um, so this will help to drive that project on right so let's get it opened up and see what we've got inside that's very brief instructions because as I said there's not a lot to this model um, nothing on the other side a normal damage indicator it's card and it's uh, decals it's out of interest has it got I'm just looking what decals it's got to tie in with my project. And all we've got is two sprues. So this should be really straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the first few pieces that I need. And uh, I'll bring you back. Right, so that's got the first pieces out and ready. Uh, it's just a matter of putting the sides onto the base first. And these go in place really easily. It, they're clearly marked. You can't get them wrong. So, yeah, both went in really smoothly. And then the back plate slotted in to join them too. And then you've got the uh, T piece that slips in behind it. Again, with the tracks, you can't go wrong. Um, it's a slot and hole arrangement, so they went in really easily. And then you've got the base unit. The next thing is I've built up the front here. I've put the wheel on already. And we've just got to put the back unit in. I'm not going to glue these in place at the minute, because obviously I've got to spray them and get the drivers in first. But I am going to try and add a bit of weight to the centre like I did before just to give it a bit of a more weighty feel. So that's that unit basically together now, and all I've got is the loose front. Now I'm looking at all the parts because I've got to make a decision between the Mark One and Mark Two version. Right, so I thought I'd just bring you back at this stage because I'm making the decision between a Mark One and a Mark Two. And, um, I'm going to go with the Mark II because that's the one that has the most uh, relevance to the 30 core because 
they introduced the tow ball in the Mark II, um, well, so I've read, and also it was largely equipment based, you know, for carrying spares and ammunition and everything. So initially, I'd cut this piece out, um, which is like a vent at the back. Well, that isn't on the Mark II because you've got this and it's carrying equipment. So I don't need that piece. So basically, I'm going to add all these stowage boxes next and the stowage blanket. I'm not going to affix the front because obviously I need to put the uh, driver and passenger in. Um, and I can't do that until I've painted it. So what I'll do is I'll put these, all these bits together now and then I'll bring you back. Well, these parts went on, you know, fairly easily. You, you just got to remember that these side uh, fins do actually lean outwards a bit, um, you know, because at first you're thinking they should be straight. And same with the little straps on the side for clambering up into it. You know, they do kind of slightly tilt outwards. But it's it's fairly self-intuitive, really, once you look at it. And it's quite simple to get all these parts placed. And uh, now it's on to painting. Right, so that brings the uh, Universal Carrier to completion. As I said, I've gone with the Mark II because I think it sits better with the um, 30 core project and uh, Operation Market Garden makes more sense for it to be carrying a lot of equipment. I've uh, put it together just so you can see it, but I've left the front unglued at the minute so that I can spray it up before I put the troops in place. But uh, as you can say, see, it's a really effective little unit and quite a simple build. Um, and it will give me another available tow as well. So, oops. One of the petrol cans falling off, but um, yeah, it's just a matter of spraying it up now and then weathering it. So that's that complete. And uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be spraying this at the t same time as all the previous vehicles that you've seen me building over the last few weeks, and I'll I'll put that all together in one video, as I've said. So thanks again for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found some of it interesting or useful. If you have, please consider giving me a thumbs up or even subscribing so you see when the next video drops. Right, so thanks again for joining me and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.